Good evening and welcome to our Advent Reflection on this Thursday the 8th of December. And tonight's thought for the day, uh, Advent Reflection, is from Margaret Wells. So thank you, Margaret. For the day, for Thursday the 8th of December, 2022. Today's reading is taken from Matthew chapter 11, beginning at the 11th verse. Truly I tell you, among those born of women, no one has arisen greater than John the Baptist. Yet the least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. From the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven has suffered violence and the violence take it by force. For all the prophets and the law prophesied until John came. And if you are willing to accept it, he is Elijah who is to come. Let everyone with ears listen. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. O Christ. The prophets had an important role in the faith history of the people of Israel. They proclaimed the truth of God's ways and called people back when they strayed. John the Baptist was a prophet who in his manner, his preaching and style of dress was like Elijah. John prepared the way for Jesus. We came later, and we are in the privileged position of knowing Jesus. We are invited to listen to the message given. Prophets are people who speak the truth, but their message is not usually easily accepted or listened to. Prophets challenge us and the false messages that we can so readily believe. What voices or messages are we really listening to this Advent? John the Baptist calls us to repent. Repentance means responding to God's love by being transformed in our convictions and actions. It means turning towards God. What thoughts or behaviours do we need to turn towards God? My position is privileged because of Jesus. How do I feel about that? I live in a world that needs prophets. Where am I called to be prophetic in standing for the truth? In my prayer, I let the example of John speak to me in preparing for the coming of Jesus. Jesus has high praise indeed for John the Baptist, yet the least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he was. The dignity conferred on us by baptism is a challenge to live up to. God does not force himself upon us. We have to work at being Christians. But never forget that it is all the gift of God. Today's text seems confusing. Jesus, on the one hand, compliments John. There is no one greater than he. But almost in the same breath, he seems to reduce him to size. The least of all his disciples is greater than John. What was it that placed John the Baptist below the least in the kingdom of heaven? He had preached the justice of God and the need for repentance. But he had not lived to see Jesus crucified and in that, to see the unbelievable extent 
of God's love for us. Many of those listening to Jesus had also listened to John the Baptist. They may have wondered which master to choose. Jesus praises John highly as the greatest man ever born, but he also hints that a new era has dawned. In the reign of God which Jesus brings about, everyone will be a child of God. God does not force himself upon us. We must seize the kingdom ourselves. John proclaimed the gospel, allowing his disciples to leave him to follow Jesus. I think of what it might mean to be less so that Jesus might be more. I ponder on what Jesus said about the greatness of John. I think of what he had seen and heard so that I might profit from understanding what Jesus valued. John the Baptist calls us to repent. Repentance means responding to God's love by being transformed in our convictions and actions. It means turning towards God. Amen. Amen. And thank you, Margaret, for your thoughts for today on today's Gospel reading. Please do join us, if you can, uh, tomorrow night again for a further reflection. Um, otherwise, uh, we'll see, uh, we'll be back again on Monday for reflections. And morning of prayer again in the morning at, at nine, if you are available. Anyway, wherever you are this night, please do keep safe and keep warm. God bless. Bye for now. Bye.